Dear friends, in our last video of unit hydrograph, backbone of hydrology, I have shown you the application of unit hydrograph, what is unit hydrograph is all about and how we derive it from process flow diagram. In today's lecture, we will see the important conclusion derived from process flow diagram as well as we will see the numerical based under process flow diagram and I will tell you what does it mean and finally, let's see the initial steps of process flow diagram once again because it is really very important in order to solve the numericals. Friends, I have told you the very first step in process flow diagram. Here you will have total rainfall heatograph and here you will have the total flood hydrograph or we can say total hydrograph. So it is total heatograph and this is total hydrograph. There is a difference between this H and this H. And in second step, I have to separate the losses which will occur in this rainfall. Say this is infiltration loss. I can use W index or phi index or Thornton's curve. And I have to separate the base flow from this total hydrograph. And in third step, in order to get the unit hydrograph, as I have told you in my last video, that I have to take the average value of this net rainfall. So say this is P net and here because the base flow is separated hydrograph will start from this origin point. So this would be my DRH and this is my ERH. This is effective rainfall heatograph and this is direct runoff hydrograph. And in final step in order to get the unit hydrograph what I have to do because unit hydrograph is obtained from 1 centimeter effective rainfall. So in order to get the 1 centimeter effect, I have to divide this P net by P net and finally I will get 1 centimeter value and because this P net is going to give you this DRH, then 1 centimeter will give you this DRH divided by P net hydrograph and this is called unit hydrograph. All these steps I have already explained you in my last video. So in order to see the detail, you can watch my last video. So unit hydrograph is nothing but I can write it as unit hydrograph ordinate I have obtained from DRH divided by P net. So friends, it is a important conclusion derived from this unit hydrograph. Few more conclusion which are very important I would like to share here. See this P net say this is 5 cm. Say for example, I am taking the P net value is 5 cm. So this 5 cm is going to give you 50 meter cube per second peak. So once I will divide this 5 cm by 5 cm in order to get the unit hydrograph, I have to divide by this 5 cm by 5 cm, I will get 1 cm. But friend, once I will divide this 50 meter cube per second by 5 cm, what I will get? This DRH value is not going to decrease because in numerator you will have meter cube per second and in denominator it is 5 cm. If you will convert this 5 cm in meter, you will get 0 0.05. So this 50 is not going to be decreased. It would be increased rather. So friends, you have to remember that in order to get this unit hydrograph ordinate, your P net should be unitless. Or I can say if 5 cm rainfall will give you this DRH peak, that is 50 meter cube per second, then 1 centimeter rainfall will give you this 50 meter cube per second divided by 5 times of unit hydrograph. It means you will treat this P net as times. So whatever the value of P net you have to divide that time to get the unit hydrograph. So my important conclusion, I will write here important conclusion that unit hydrograph ordinate is direct runoff hydrograph ordinate divided by P net and that should be unitless. This is my first conclusion. Second conclusion is here you can see friend whenever this rainfall occur you will get this volume. How I will get this volume from this curve say in vertical axis I am having discharge value in horizontal axis I am having the time value. So unit of Q is meter cube per second and this time is say in second. Once you will take the area of this curve, what you will get? You will get volume 
and from where I, I am getting this volume I am getting this volume from this rainfall say this rainfall is having magnitude p net and once this p net will occur in say this catchment having area a once I will multiply this p net into a say 5 centimeter in this area say it is 1 kilometer square so you can convert it in meter cube and directly you can equate this p net multiplied by area of catchment and it would be equals to what value area of this curve so that is nothing but summation q times t this is the area of the curve will give you the volume under this curve and this p net into a will also give the volume under the curve and this p net into a is also going to give you the volume and in third step friends you can see from this fourth step of process flow diagram i can write it as one centimeter rainfall if it will occur in this area of the catchment again from this unit hydrograph here you will have q here you will have t and you can write it as summation q into t for unit hydrograph ordinates similarly here you can write it as for direct runoff hydrograph ordinates friends all these three steps are very important and you can solve number of problems using all these three steps one more important conclusion i would like to share here friends that this process flow diagram is a reversible process if you can go from first step to fourth step you can also come from fourth step to first step now come to the numerical part just read this gate 2012 question based upon unit hydrograph you can see here drainage area of a watershed is 50 km square it means area of catchment is 50 km square fine index is 0.5 cm per hour we know what is this fine index fine index is infiltration loss having value 0.5 cm per hour base flow at the outlet is 10 meter cube per second i already told you there is a fixed value of discharge present here that is say this base flow ordinate is given as 10 meter cube per second then it's telling you one hour unit hydrograph is triangular in shape i will write the given unit hydrograph friends you have to see you are in which step of process flow diagram so here unit hydrograph is given it means you are in fourth step of process flow diagram now we will see it is triangular in shape it is given that the shape of unit hydrograph is triangular in nature with time base of 15 hour and the peak ordinate occur at 5 hour so first of all i have to plot this unit hydrograph see it is triangular in nature i am getting the peak at 5 hour say so this is 5 hour and the base is 15 hour it means this would be total 15 hour so this would be the shape of your unit hydrograph so friends to simplify the problem the shape is given that is triangular in nature and what you will have here this is fixed that is 1 centimeter whenever there would be a unit hydrograph you will be having rainfall value 1 centimeter peak ordinate occur at 5 hour and then find out the peak of the ordinate of unit hydrograph you have to find out this q value this is your first part for a storm depth of 5.5 centimeter it means total rainfall is given as 5.5 centimeter and duration is one hour this is very important rainfall duration is given as one hour and the peak ordinate of hydrograph is so means if there is a rainfall of 5.5 centimeter occur then you have to find out the peak ordinate of hydrograph it, it is telling you if p total occurs then the peak ordinate of hydrograph would be how much it means you have to go from this fourth step of process flow diagram to first step you have to find out the peak of the flood hydrograph friends before solving the question the very first step you have to do that you have to check what is the given duration and what is the desired duration so friends desired or i can say the target duration is one hour and the given duration is also one hour why i am telling you because friends if this both the durations are same it means you are under process flow diagram i am just showing you the picture once again you just see from this diagram that one thing is not going to be changed from this first step to fourth step that is duration of rainfall 
वट एवर द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ रेनफॉल इट इज फिक्सड इफ द गिवन ड्यूरेशन एंड टारगेट ड्यूरेशन इज सेम इट मीन्स यू आर अंडर प्रोसेस फ्लो डायग्राम बट से इफ वन आवर यूनिट हाइड्रोग्राफ इज गिवन एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द थ्री आवर फ्लड हाइड्रोग्राफ इट मीन्स यू आर आउटसाइड दिस प्रोसेस फ्लो डायग्राम आई विल टेल यू नंबर ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल्स बींग आज इन गेट एंड ई एस सी इन विच गिवन ड्यूरेशन एंड टारगेट ड्यूरेशन इज डिफरेंट सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन ऑफ गेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व यू कैन सी हियर दैट दिस वन आवर इज गिवन दैट इज माई गिवन वैल्यू एंड दिस इज द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ फ्लड हाइड्रोग्राफ और यू कैन से टोटल हाइड्रोग्राफ एंड दिस ड्यूरेशन इज माई टारगेट ड्यूरेशन सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन टी एंड जी बोथ आर सेम सो आई हैव टू वर्क इन साइड द प्रोसेस फ्लो डायग्राम सो इट मीन्स आई हैव टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम अंडर प्रोसेस फ्लो डायग्राम लेट सी वॉट वी कैन डू वी आर हियर एट फोर्थ स्टेप एंड वी हैव टू मूव टू द फर्स्ट स्टेप एंड एज वी नो द स्टेप्स आर इन टोटल हाइड्रोग्राफ देयर वुड बी टोटल हीटोग्राफ एंड इन टोटल फ्लड हाइड्रोग्राफ देर इज टोटल हाइड्रोग्राफ एंड इन ऑर्डर टू मूव फ्रॉम यूनिट हाइड्रोग्राफ टू फ्लड हाइड्रोग्राफ वॉट वी हैव टू डू इन दिस हाइड्रोग्राफ वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई पी नेट मैग्नीट्यूड एंड इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द टोटल हीडोग्राफ वॉट हैव टू डू आई हैव टू जस्ट गेट दिस पी टोटल बाई पी नेट प्लस लॉसेस सो दिस इज द प्रोसीजर फॉर हीटोग्राफ एंड दिस इज द प्रोसीजर फॉर हाइड्रोग्राफ सो फ्रेंड हियर the shape of this hydro unit hydrograph is triangular in nature and now i am using the conclusion which i have already told you that once i am using this unit hydrograph the relationship which i will use that is 1 cm rainfall if occur in the area of catchment say it is in km square later i will convert in the same unit and it should be equals to how much summation q into t you can see summation q into t i was doing as i didn't have the regular shape of this hydrograph but here already given that the shape of the hydrograph is triangular in nature so how i can get the area i'll just do it by taking the area of triangle half times b into h here b is nothing but it is 15 hour h is nothing but i have to determine it is in say meter cube per second and you have 1 cm rainfall and area is given as 50 km square so friend if i'll convert it into a same unit say homogeneous unit say 1 cm i can write 1 by 100 it is in meter 50 km i can write 15 into 10 to the power 6 meter square so now i can get volume in meter cube and from here hour i can convert into second say 16 into 60 and then finally i will get the h value in meter cube per second and by solving this h magnitude you will get the peak discharge of this unit hydrograph and it would be equals to q peak 18.51 meter cube per second so i have solved the first part of this unit hydrograph question and finally i have to find out the storm depth if a storm depth of 5.5 cm occur and duration is 1 hour the peak coordinate of hydrograph would be so friend i am not going to solve the whole triangular ordinates because i need the peak one so i will multiply this magnitude by p net times p net multiplied by q peak i will reach in the second last step of the process flow diagram that is i will get the peak of drh so it would be how much it would be 18.51 multiplied by net rainfall i have to multiply it by net rainfall so how i can get it p net is in this question here it is given as the rainfall depth is 5.5 cm so it is my total rainfall and i have to subtract the losses you can see here the find x value is given as 0.5 cm per hour so if i subtract the 5 0.5 cm per hour and the rainfall duration is 1 hour so 5. 0.5 multiplied by 1 i will get 0.5 and the final value of p net which i will get would be 5 cm so friends now i have already explained you that i have to multiply this 5 cm and i will treat it as unitless quantity so 18.51 is q p multiplied by 5 times i will get the q drh and it will come as 92.6 meter cube per second now friend i have to find out the q 
of this total hydrograph. So what I have to do? From this DRH curve which is 92.6 I have to add this base flow. So in order to get the total hydrograph Q value I have to add up this 92.6 to base flow value and base flow is given here as 10 meter cube per second. So final value of Q would come as 102.6 meter cube per second. This is the final value. So friend again come to this process flow diagram. Here I can explain to you what we did. First of all we had found the value of unit hydrograph P and which was 18.51. Then what we did? We just multiplied by this 18.51 multiplied by P net which was 5 centimeter and what I have obtained in this DRH value it came as 92.6 and in the second step what I did 92.6 I just added it with base flow and base flow was given as 10 meter cube per second so it would be 10 and it would be 92.6 and the final Q peak I obtained as 102.6 and the example I have shown you it comes under the process flow diagram. Friends in the later video we will further see if the given duration and target duration is different then what we have to do we have to use some other methods like method of superposition and S curve etc. I will request you all you must see our next videos of unit hydrograph and just keep watching Reconcible Academy videos. Subscribe it, like it, comment it. Thank you very much.